Okay, time for another Affinity Photo tutorial. Uh, a couple of weeks ago I did a tutorial on how to do distress text and that was using uh, two filters using um, a diffuse and a median blur and since then I've found another method that I really like as well and this is more of just like a rough edges kind of effect that you can do on text and you can also stylize it a little bit. This seems to give you a little bit more control because depending on how you apply the effect that we're going to apply will change the uh, the roughness of the edges. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's get rid of everything that we got here except for uh, the background for now. Okay, so anyway, to do this, what we need to do is we need to obviously start off with our text and we'll just start off with some plain old black text. Let's make this black and we'll just make the word rough. Alright, so now the secret here is to create the rough edges with using a, dis a displacement map. Now you can download displacement maps, you can make your own dip displacement maps, and for our purposes we're going to make our own displacement map here to show you just how easy this is. Um, let's go ahead and create a blank pixel layer, okay? And we're going to fill it with like a gray, like a dark gray. So we'll drop that gray in here. For now let's just uh, hide our text so we can see what we're doing with this layer. And a very simple um, displacement map would be by using some noise. So let's go ahead and go to Filters, Noise, and Add Noise. And I've got it on monochromatic, and you can crank up the intensity as much or as little as you want. The thing with displacement maps is they really don't like sharp edges. So we'll go ahead and apply that displacement map to here, but we're also going to put a live filter in there and we're going to add a Gaussian blur. And let's bring that blur up to about, I don't know, let's call it two pixels. Okay, so that gives us a pretty blurry thing to work with here. So now if we bring back our text, obviously nothing's happened yet. Um, so here's where the magic happens. If we, on the text, if we come down to the live filters, and scroll down to uh, displace, not diffuse, dis displace. We can choose to load a map from a file if we already have one saved from the internet or one that we've created before. Or if we have one here that we created very quickly, we can load a map from the layers beneath, which is what we're going to do. And we're going to load that up and you can barely see that it's starting to do something. So let's turn that um, displacement map the visibility off even though it's still applied here and now by adjusting the strength of the displacement going either forwards or backwards we can make the text more less whatever you prefer and by moving it around you can kind of get the the look that you're looking for again this is the the variations here are endless you can create as many different displacement maps as you like uh, with different kinds of textures so now once we have this this text is also still fully editable, so if we were to come over to here and let's say we want to add some layer effects. Let's go ahead and add an outline. And for the outline, let's say we want, instead of a solid color, let's, let's make it like a gradient. Okay, and we'll make the gradient black and white. Alright, we'll leave it just the way it is. Uh, we'll leave the alignment to the outside. We'll bring the radius up and you can see what's happening here. It's going from left to right. So let's change the angle on that from top to, oh, sorry, yeah, from bottom to top. And then we can play with the scale here to get the kind of look that we're looking for. All right. That's one thing we can do there. If we want to add in like an inner glow, we can do that as well. See if I can recreate kind of something what I did before, bring in some green, and we'll bring the radius up on that. All 
And we can come back to our outline and bring the radius down a little bit on that. And then at any time, we can go back into our displace filter here and we can increase or decrease the amount of displacement. Now, once we have it where we want it, we can also take the text and, uh, hold on a second, choose your text. And by choosing the text, if we move it around, you can see by moving it around over the top of the displacement map, that's even though it's hidden, it's still affecting the text. So we can find the spot that we like the most, go with that. That looks pretty good. Uh, we can even distort this text now if we want to. So let's come over to the uh, Mesh Warp tool. And let's say we want to uh, bring this up here. Bring the bottom up some. Bring these bottom angles down. And again, at any time, you can go in and move the displacement map around or change it, add more noise, add some other kind of uh, element to it. And so there you go. Very short, very quick way to get rough edges on text using only one live filter. Um, I hope you liked it. If you did, please hit the like button. Think about subscribing if you want to see more tutorials like this. And just I really appreciate you watching. Till next time. Peace. Talk to you later. Bye.